Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm going to be taking you through yet another purple coin hunt at the Melty Molten Galaxy. Bring it on! This is one of my favorite ones to collect purple coins in. Uh, it's so dangerous yet it's so very fun, which is why I like it so much. Uh, you, it's a very small area that you're collecting purple coins in. In fact, it's the very first area, this area right here. So this one's going to go pretty quickly because I, I know pretty much where all the purple coins are. It's just a matter of collecting them without dying. So wish me luck on this one. I'm going to grab these two coins right at the start over here. Oh, and it completely missed that coin even though I just like walked right past it somehow. And there's a lot more steam jets and a lot more heat and all sorts of stuff waiting to take it all the hits they can off of you so just be very careful as you collect these coins and as you can see there's some very dangerous purple coins above this lava here right off the start not too easy to get them without taking a hit and there's a purple coin right in the middle of this lava you got a long jump to it no exceptions if you try and jump at it then spin at it you're guaranteed to land into the lava because your spin jump will just not give you enough height to get across there. I shouldn't even call it a spin jump, it's more of like a mid-air spin. I keep calling it spin jump, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, maybe I've been playing too, too much Super Mario World or something lately that I call it a spin jump. Uh, purple coins across here. Yes, you have to long jump there. You have to collect them all in one long jump. I'm going to turn the camera over this way, wait for those lava pillars to stop, and long jump, I mean not long jump, ah, no, bad, bad lava, why is lava so hot? Anyway, lava is actually dangerous, contrary to what I said in the last part about quicksand, so that makes a lot of sense in video games. However, they keep forgetting to mention the fact that lava emits very sulfurous fumes that would make you pass out if you got near it. So, again, it doesn't make much sense in terms of a, any sort of sense whatsoever. But anyway, it's video game logic. What can you do? Oh, boy. Careful, careful, careful. careful, 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 careful. Yes, there's purple coins inside the platforms, or I should say underneath the platforms. Careful, careful. Oh, hotness. It is the overheat. Yes, I made a reference there. Anyone can know that reference? I hope you got that reference, because the reference that I made is of an awesome game. Okay. Um, I don't want to go up there just yet. I want to get the lower ones first. So I'm going to long jump over to that platform over there. And grab this coin. Oh, oh those fall individually. That's kind of silly. Um, there's those. Oh, is there anything up here? Just for the heck, I don't want to see. Nah. What, can I break it? Yeah, I can. It gives me a coin. Classic NES-style block there. Um, purple coins. Wherefore art thou purple coins? Well, I'll just go, keep going along this path right here. And grab those. And fly here. Not fly here. Fall there. <laughs> um, you want to be very careful. If you aren't confident with your jumps, just use your spin to uh, control the, your jump. Um, you'll have a lot more, like, I guess control is the word, um, because you really don't have that much control over a normal jump when it comes to, like, angle and direction, especially when you have to go really fast, like you have to prepare for it. Let me go up here. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Okay, now I can go back. Um, should I just, like, long jump? Ah! I was gonna say long jump over there. I think I can just long jump over there. Oh, shoot. Don't touch the wall, Mario. You'll backflip. Because you'll stop in your tracks. There we go. And now I'm going to collect the coins up at the top here. Well, actually, there's no coins over here. But I mean... Ah! I'm just rushing this too much now. Uh, but I mean, like, there's a coin over here. Ah. Yes, you got to do a little wall jump and a... Ah! No! Bad Mario! I shouldn't say bad Mario. Bad Steam. I'm just taking hits all over the place. And I just noticed that there's not a lot of coins here to recover my health. Oh boy. Oh my god. Ugh. A little scary, you know, because I'm getting near the end here. But as I said, it's a pretty short purple coin collecting hunt here. So even if you do die, it won't take that long to get back over here. But it's still kind of scary. If you fall off of here, it's death. Down is death, people. You don't want that to happen near the end. 
you've come too far. Um, what you have to do here, see those purple coins along that slope? First, go like this. Now let yourself fall out of this, and you'll slide right into these coins and onto this platform. Now you gotta climb all the way back up. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, poopers! I was gonna say climb up to the platform. Now I gotta redo the whole thing. Okay, I'm back over here with 94 coins, and I'm about to go inside the volcano. And right there, and yeah, you have to spin at that one, and now you'll end up in this volcanic area here, and there's five coins in this very dangerous area here, and then just spin out of here, and I believe that lava rises gradually, and I'm missing one coin, but I think, whoops, I should not have done that, I should just let myself fall out, um, there's one coin that I missed, I seen it on my uh, second run here, it's way up on top of that, uh, sinking platform there, oh shoot, no, 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 I refuse to die again, it's right over here, and, right, you gotta keep this platform up like this, just don't let you, and there, uh, don't let it fall in, and there is the last coin, and there is the star. So let's go grab that star and get out of here. It is hot. At least my nipples aren't hard this time like I was in uh, that uh, frozen area of death there. That You know, the other purple coin collecting challenge. Well, okay, I'm going to go find another star, so I'll be right back. Alright, the, the star that I decided to do was this one right here. This last hungry luma in the entire observatory. He only wants 1,200 star bits, and by only, I mean that's a lot. But uh, before I started doing today's parts, uh, I did some uh, star bit grinding. Uh, the last, like, two or three parts, in case you didn't realize, my star bits, like, jumped from one part to another. That was because I did some star bit grinding ahead of time, as I just said there. So, let's go and see what challenges await me this time. I can take whatever they can dish out. This is Boo's Boneyard Galaxy Racing Spooky Speedster. Uh, oh, it's a skull. It's kind of spooky. Oh, it's our good friend. I liked racing this critter. But anyway, I guess I'm going to be racing him inside the skull head or whatever. That's kind of creepy if you ask me. But at the same time, it doesn't make much sense to have the skull head. Because if you take a look, there's no, like, area for the esophagus to go down there. It's just kind of like one solid head except for this uh, hole at the top here. Unless for some reason they decided to cement it over or something. And uh, grab this blue Mario power-up. Oh, wait. Did I? I forgot to talk to the... Oh, it's Jill board. So I guess it's a girl this time or something. It sounded like the same billboard or fillboard. Yeah, I remember how to move around as a boo. It's been a while, though. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go through this wall by turning invisible like so. And then I'll just press the jump button repeatedly to get up here. And then talk to, uh, Mr. Snarly Teeth. Sure! That's my battle cry. All right, bring it on, boo. Yes, we're going to be doing a race. Follow the coins and stay in the air jets if you can. You'll see some air jets as we go. Let yourself flop down here. Uh, we both move at about the same speed, by the way. Whoops, did not mean to do that. I should have shook. Uh, I'm just going to go like that. The other way is a bit slower. And look how wavy this area is. It's so weird. As you can see, by staying in the air jets like that, uh, you get quite a bit more speed than he does. Uh, avoid those little whatever the heck critters. They're like springy, bouncy critters. They're just there to slow you down, and I think there's a shortcut this way. Uh, yeah, because I'll be able to turn on this fan and, whoops, go through here. Hey, let me go through the wall. Thank you. That's what us boos do. We go through the wall. No, 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 don't touch the wall. We go through the wall. There we go. That's acting like a true goal. Star rats! And there's the goal. That was not hard at all, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Boo, but that was way too easy. Yay! Um, I'm gonna see if there's enough time to do another star in this part. So, I'm gonna collect this star and take a look at what uh, options I have left. Woo! Ah, uh, yes, I do think I'll have enough time to do another star in this part. The Speedy Comet at the Dreadnought Galaxy. So, as long as it's speedy, I know I'll be able to, uh, or I should say, I'll have to do this one fast anyway. And I think I've got about, like, five or six minutes left to go on this part, so Top Man's Tribe speed run. 
Oh yeah, bring it on, suckers. Um, yeah, you remember this one, but this time I gotta do it a lot faster. So hopefully that'll work out well. I don't think I have to do it too much faster. I got a six minute time limit, but you know they give a lot of time on these things. Whoops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have, uh, wait, actually, oh, this is the guy that I'm looking for. You follow me here so I can do this dealio and get up to the launch star. There we go. And now I gotta get one of these critters over to here. I should say two of these critters. Whoa! Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one down. Another one to go, wherever you are. Come on, baby, I know I can find you. Ooh, oh yeah, you're going down. And so is your little cage trapping my star buddy. And come on, create that shortcut quickly. I don't have much time left in this part. I hope I don't have to cut stuff out of this because it's basically the same stage again. I don't even know why I'm showing this, to be honest. Um, but you want to grab this guy and take him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. what's this? Did I, did I need to hit this? Yes, I do need to hit, to hit this. Dang it. I'm wasting time because I'm forgetting what I need to do. There's three, and I need Mr. Green do, uh, Duder over there. Not you, Mr. Red. You, Mr. Green, come this way. Uh, I've wasted a minute already. And jump up here, like so. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. And pole stars appear over on the other side, I guess. And I will grab them as I go as fast as I possibly can. And sling myself way over here. This should, no wait, this doesn't start automatically, so I need to you know, long jump and pull myself all the way over here as fast as I can. Wait, oh no, 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 cannon, 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 da, 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 no, 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 I don't think so. No, 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 holy poopers. Oh, no, no, ah! Hold on a sec. Oh, there's a life room over there. I forgot about that. Okay, we're back over here. This time I hopefully won't be a silly neener and get myself shot at by these bullets over here. They look kind of like heavy balls from Pokemon. But I think I've mentioned that before in the description of a video. <sighs> Scary. Okay, follow yourself over here and wait a sec. Oh, I need to do one of these dealios. <laughs> and there we go. Launch star ahead. And that wasn't that bad at all if you take a little bit of time. And remember, these things here, as I said, you can go around them, but that just wastes time. I just like to cut through the whole thing. Uh, but I will go around this one, uh, because I would like to be in the middle of these two at once, like that. Uh, that, that just makes it a little bit easier to time my jumps, rather than having them be set at, like, different times. Um, otherwise, I'd be having to dodge two different uh, time sets of lasers. Unless I'm mistaken and they are actually... Whoops, wait, what? Oh, it's right here. Durr, PK Gam, durr. And, um, yeah, it just makes things a little bit easier. And you, you remember the Top Man tribe, right? You gotta um, defeat them in their little electric pen there. It's the easiest boss fight in the history of ever. There's just this, this boss just has no challenge whatsoever, and this is like the third time I faced this boss too. And uh, I'm just gonna kill you just for the heck of it, and kill you just for the heck of it. And yeah, you. I'm gonna take away your spikes and make you go. Bzzz. Yeah, I like making you go. Bzzz. What the heck? You landed right on top of me. That was kind of silly. That was the first time that ever happened to me. I'm serious. And. Bzzz. Starbit song, and I'll just kill you right away. Yeah, everyone dies at once. I get the star, and that ends this part. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later. Toodly doodly do.